this is going to be an immediate team wipe because I poorly planned every aspect of this. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out Ascent of Ashes, or at least the demo thereof. Another demo pulled off of the latest Steam Next Fest. Ascent of Ashes I've been waiting on for a while. This has been kicking around the wish list for ages, and I've been really wanting to take a look at it, so I'm very excited to see some Ascent of Ashes. I'm I'm not even really sure what we're getting into. It looks like there's some colony building. It looks like there's some combat, some post-apocalyptic wasteland. Ascent of Ashes looks like it's throwing a lot of stuff in the blender and hitting the mix button. This will definitely, without question, even with the little knowledge that I have, be one of those games that I either adore or rage quit. Let's find out which one it is. Well, I'm already immediately digging the art style. That looks cool. Can we spin the camera? We can spin the camera around. I have a ham grazer, Red Rocket, Tanya, Alexander. I don't know who you are. Uh, where, where your hunting shotgun is somewhere over here. There's a hunting shotgun, an SMG. Let's pan out here a little bit. Okay. I'm seeing some familiar things here. Those are berries of some sort. I'm sure we're getting food off of that. And can we eat... Can we eat the ham grazer? Those are mushrooms. We can get some of those. Okay, let's unpause and see what the heck I'm going to be doing. Because so far, my only tutorial is WASD, and I'm pretty familiar with that one. Aha! To put my survivors to work, open the work assignment and use the checkboxes to assign a priority. Ah, I know how that works. Okay, so Alexander, Tanya, Red Rocket, Mateo, and Lara. I don't even see... Okay, a couple of them are up in the fog of war up there. You can build, woodcut, forage, or haul. Okay. Jobs set to the same priority level would be prioritized left to right. Okay. So you could build and then woodcut in that order if I checked both of these. Do I know specifically what you might be good at? Are you, are you better at one thing than another? So, Alexander, can I, can I learn anything about you? Like, show me this. Aha, here we go. Strength of 4, Dexterity 7, Constitution 5, Intelligence, Perception, and Charisma. Looks like you're a bit of an all-rounder. I, I don't know this, but I'm going to assume this is from 0 to 10. So, it looks like you do a little bit of everything. You're very good at shooting. Again, no facts to back this up, but I assume that's 0 to 100. I mean, your bar is almost full there. All right, what have you got? You have a market value. Hang on. Hang on, Alexander. You have a market value of 100. Alexander is worth 100 to somebody. I've got some day-to-day -day stuff going on here. Mental health, which I'm going to assume if that's empty, that means that's good. Your food is good. Your sleep is good. Your social, you have no social right now. You probably haven't talked to anyone. Uh, entertainment, comfort, and beauty. All right, you have no conditions as of this point. Do you have anything in your inventory? You have pre-collapse clothing. Uh, you have no weapons, no nothing in your storage. Okay, give me give me you, uh, Red Rocket. Let's find out about you, Miranda Red Rocket Broccoli. Oh my God, that is the best name I've ever heard in a game. Sold, sold. I'm in. Miranda Red Rocket Broccoli. Oh, you are the, you actually might be the best. You've got some really good stats there. Your shooting looks very low though. Your shooting looks... How, what is your market value? You're worth 100 to somebody, too. And I assume you have, yeah, basically the same sort of mental and physical stats here. And again, you have the same clothing. Okay, let's get back to the building concept here. So if I right-click out of that, I'm kind of focused on... There we go. Just left-click out of that. So work. All right. Well, I'm not going to go through all of you and figure out what you're good at. So, right... Oh, yeah. Very, very familiar. Very, very familiar. I assume one is the best... Or one is the most priority, and then four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. So, Alexander, what if I know we're not doing anything right now, Alexander? Alexander, what if you, I said you're like really focused? Oh, hang on. What do we want here? Work types such as wood chopping require that you designate trees. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Build menu and click the orders button. Okay, really, really familiar territory. Good, I like a game I can jump right into. I'm kind of just sort of bouncing stuff around. I don't have any firm plan with this because I haven't gone through all their stats and figured out if there's something they're particularly good at. But I'm going to have Mateo here be the prime hauler. If there's something to move, 
move it. I also want to investigate those guns in a second. Uh, Red Rocket Broccoli. <laughs> That's the best name I've ever heard in a game. <laughs> That's just brilliant. Uh, you're going to be the primary builder. All right, you're just going to build stuff, and everyone else is just going to kind of do things around here. So Red Rocket Broccoli, actually it shouldn't be Red Rocket because Alexander here was better at shooting. Can you equip this? Yes. Okay, equip that SMG. And then also, let's do, what was that under? Orders to get stuff chopped down and whatnot. All right, so under Architect, Orders, Structure, Furnishing, Floors, Defenses, Storage. Okay, so Orders, I would like you to chop... Uh, all of all of this, okay? Get get all of these trees out of here, because obviously we're gonna need that to do anything at all, like build anything. And can you get that tree? Yeah, get that tree. Okay, let's do something wacky. Let's actually turn the game on here. Okay, so you're immediately equipping that SMG, all right? And the rest of you are going right to wood cutting because there isn't anything else to do. I don't have you doing anything else. The um. Ham grazers are kicking around. All right, survivors need a home to live and sleep in. Start building something. Fair. And we've also opened up this bit of the map. Well, while we're here, we know we're going to be doing a lot of building. So why don't we chop down all this and just draw a box all the way around everything. Everybody go chop down some stuff around here. This actually looks like a decent building spot because there's nothing else here. So if I said structure, throw it in pause for a second. Wooden tile. Okay. And wooden stairs, wooden door. Oh, can we go multiple heights? Failed safety inspection upon completion. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, this simple wooden door will keep out the elements, but easily buckles against a firm kick. Wooden wall. Wooden wall creates a rustic ambiance. Instacrete. Sturdy wall made from Instacrete. Well, I don't think we have any of that. In fact, what do we? What did we roll in here with? Where did we? Uh, where did we come from? Where'd all? Hang on. Where'd all those guns go? Oh, what have we got here? What is this? Uh, make make this go away. What is this right here? What did we do? No, make all of this go away. I want I want to see this. I want to see what this is. I can't really. I don't have a pop up or anything about that. Okay, let's try and build a basic basic structure here. So structure. Okay, wooden tile is three raw three raw wood. That's very difficult to say. It looks like we're getting about thirty odd from each tree. So can I build here? Apparently not. Okay, can I build here? Apparently not. Select a build site, place it, change rotation. Huh? Do I have to build the walls first? Ah, looks like I have to build walls before I can build a floor. So let's just keep it nice and simple. Okay, how about we did this and this? I'm just kind of thinking like a dormitory kind of thing for these guys. It's not going to be very luxurious, but it'll kind of get the job done. And then where's the door you can kick down? Okay, can I put this in now? Can I put this in now? Or do I have to wait for the wall to get built? Looks like I might have to wait for the wall to get built. Uh, nope, I can put it over here. I just haven't figured out how to rotate. Rotate? Rotate? Nope, that made it go away. All right, skip that. Just put it there. That place was fine in the first place. Now, the guys who are building stuff, yeah, they're they're all into this. Because, again, there's, there's no other orders. There's nothing else for them to do here. Um, can I forage? Chop, deconstruct, and remove the floor. Now, I'd like to I'd like to forage for things. How about we put up a thing to store things? That seems really sensible. So let's put up a couple of those boxes there. And then furnishings. Oh, wow, okay. Log bed, double bed. That's cloth. Wow, a lot of cloth, too. I don't have anywhere near that kind of cloth. What about a log bed, just raw wood? Guys, we're, we're sleeping on a tree today. Now, I can put up a table. What does an end table do? It's just sort of decorative, a wardrobe. Ah, that will enable them to change their clothes. That's probably really handy. I bet, I bet this is one of those I need to eat at a table games. Also, guys, are you putting in that door that I told you about? Because otherwise you're, um... You're going to get stuck there. You know that, right? Now, I think they may have forgotten to put the door in on the other side, so... I'm having them put one up here, hopefully. Although they they seem to have forgotten that one, too. Guys, are you coming back to do the door? Red Rocket, what are you doing right now? You're moving some things, it looks like. Oh, you're, you're going to fill in the uh, materials, probably, for the box. Okay, you're getting some wood. You're getting some wood. Seems to take you a long time to get that wood, doesn't it? Okay, oh, no, you've given up on that. You're going to go do something else. What are you doing? Come here, Mateo. 
Can I see, like, what you're doing at this point? Is there... Oh, it's Mateo Broccoli. Oh, wait. Red Rocket has a, um... Has a spouse. Okay, wait, you're not all Broccolis, are you? No, you're Makarov. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Where's Red Rocket? Do you have some sort of, uh, interpersonal stat thing here? Like, who you like, who you dislike... Um, show me mental health. Nope, nothing to click on there. Multi-level movement. Yes, I'd like to know about that. Okay, page up, page down. Move a survivor up or down. Right-click a cliff. Order them to climb it or construct stairs. Okay. Just for having that conversation. Just because I happen to be on Mrs... Well, I guess Mrs. Broccoli. No, it doesn't look like I can do anything with it right now. I see you have just gone immediately into forage mode. Even though I don't actually have a thing to tell you to do that. Also, somewhere around here, there was a little glowing thing, but our line of sight is very, very particular. If we can... Ah, there's all my guns. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just found all my guns. They're all over here. Yeah, if we can't see anything, we can't see anything. Just because it was revealed once doesn't mean we can always... Yeah, these things. Um, we should know about this. Uh, hang on, hang on. Go away. Uh, an Ariozoa. Uh-huh. What, what do I know about you? Nothing. I can't click on that. Uh, Mateo, are you any good at shooting things? No! Wow, you're terrible. You have a good constitution, though. Um, Alexander's already got a weapon. How about Tanya over here? Tanya, where are you even going? Tanya can basically do some light shooting. Hunting shotgun, hunting rifle, hunting rifle. Go equip the hunting rifle, please. And hopefully, because I've got Mateo on max hauling, he's going to eventually, when he's done with all this other stuff, move those things into storage. Um, Alexander, you have totally borked yourself, haven't you? Alexander, I, I feel we've got an issue with doors. Um, can we, can we make, we can't, we can't make a door. Okay, it's a demo. Maybe doors are not really working out today. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Um, go to orders, deconstruct uh, this bit, please. Just, just like that. De deconstruct that. Are you going to deconstruct that? Because otherwise you live there forever, man. Okay, at least now there's a way in and out. And just for checking, uh, maybe I had to put the door up. I was thinking maybe while it was... While it was deconstructed. Show me, why are you giving me a door? I'm going to try and put a door there. And see if they put a door there. Doors seem to be an issue. Let's revisit the concept of somewhere to sleep. So, one, two, no, three... Four. I don't actually know if they need space between this, but I'm going to kind of assume that they do. Let's see if they can put down a floor as well. I found flooring, different tab than structures, so I'm not really sure what a wooden tile is in terms of a floor, but I'm just going to have them put some flooring down in case they want that sort of thing. Um, now what? Defenses. I've got a sandbag. Is that, is that a thing I want? What, what does it take to make this? 30 cloth. Yeah, we ain't got that. We ain't got 30 cloth at all. Um, in fact, now that I say that out loud, uh, show me show me my storage. No, I wanna I wanna see inside inside the storage, please. In inside the storage? Not so much. And, you know, now that I say that out loud, where is our group inventory here? There's gotta be something around here where I can see what we've got, basically. Alright, we could do an expedition. That sounds great. But I need I kind of need to know what we have. And also, how would I access that? So I'm assuming all these lovely things here are going into these boxes. And if I right-click, okay, you can haul storage raw wood on that one, but not here. Um, Laura, while you're just sitting here, could you um, equip that, please? Just go get yourself a hunting rifle. Yeah, put whatever you're doing down. Uh, Mateo, Mateo, come here. You should also go get a weapon. Uh, no, I've, I've, I've unclicked Mateo. I'm sorry about that. Uh, go get a shotgun. All right, get that. Because I think we might go on an expedition soon. Okay, I think they put up that door, which is neat. Let's let's finish the house off a little bit there. So wooden wall from there to there. Okay, do that. Now we've got an actual real door for big people that we can go in and out of. You're making some flooring right there. And Laura's just kind of moving some stuff around. Looks like you're moving this... Over here. Do we have any kind of stockpile? No. So we can't just sort of pile things outside. Well, I'm going to make another crate. Because I don't... 
Because I don't know how to access the ones that I've got, frankly. Also, do you guys go to bed at any point? Because it's like one in the morning and you're still going. I don't seem to be able to have any sort of schedule apart from the work schedule. Okay, so blue reflects their skill level. All right, they seem to be fine at that. And green or red would affect morale. So if they're doing something they don't want to do, or they do want to do, then, you know, that'll show there. What does this do? I don't know what that does. Just clicking things. Okay, everyone's at 3.30 in the morning, finally pulling in to take a nap here. All right, and Tanya's in. Yeah, all right. Where, why, why is... Okay, Red Rocket, Alexander, Lara, Tanya. Where's Mateo? Mateo, why are you out here? You can... You can have that bed. Can you not get to it? I bet you can't get to it. Maybe you need space on either side or something. It's a little silly, because you could put a bed right up against the wall and still get into it. I've, I've done that. That that exists. That's the thing that happens. But yeah, Mateo seems either a little bugged out or... What, is your, what are you doing? You're just... It looks like you're idling. Clock icon generally means you're not doing anything. Can I force you to go to bed? No, I don't seem to be able to right-click on you and force you to go to bed. Well, Mateo, if you choose to stand in a box with your free time, who am I to stop you? It's the next morning and everyone's just sort of doing their thing. We're building flooring. We're moving stuff around. We're taking another nap. Well, you did only sleep for about four hours. I'm not surprised. Can we get a set of stairs going here? How... How is rotating happening? Because it's definitely not R. No, that was completely wrong. Oh, no time for that. There's some nasty critters roaming these parts. Built, have a solid defense prepared. Well, I need cloth for that. I don't, I don't have any cloth. Um, can I draw a box around the survivors? No. How do I... How do I... Okay, so I kind of just auto-drafted you just by clicking on you. You can fight... I don't have a pop-up for this. I don't know what this is. Is that standing guard? Come come here again. No, Red Red Rocket, come here. No, no, no. Red Rocket Broccoli, I need your attention. Can I stand... Oh, okay. So we got like a standing guard. We've got a crouching. All right, standing up or crouching is what I've got here. Can I tell you to go over here? Can I tell you to fight something? Uh, I can... Okay, I can get you over here. Okay, I think this is drafting people, because now I'm in control of you. Now I have full control over Red Rocket. I also notice I think you're the only person who doesn't have any kind of firearm on you, which should probably get corrected. We've got a hunting shotgun over here. You may as well go get it. So if I now undraft you... Okay, yeah, now you just go back to doing your own thing here. Gotcha. So that's draft. Standing and crouching, I get. Some sort of attack. Again, reloading. That's pretty obvious. Don't, uh, switching weapon probably is what I'm going to guess out of that one. All right, I don't have a lot of info. I have no pop-ups, Ms. Broccoli. Excuse me, Mrs. Broccoli. I'm also going to see if they can build a set of stairs over there because I didn't have to rotate the stairs to make them go over there. There was probably a pop-up over here telling me how to rotate things, which I've completely ignored. Also, we should probably maybe get some more trees chopped down or not, or go ahead and get those down and get those down as well. Now, I know we've got critters allegedly in the area, but I'd really like to do one of these expeditions. Abandoned farmhouse, gas station, or a motel. Formerly a pit stop for travelers along the highway, this ruin now serves as a barracks for bandits. Ooh. Raiding this location might yield some of the raiders' weapons. High chance of captives being held here. Ah, uh, would those be captives that we could maybe recruit to our own faction? How about the farmhouse? Outlying farms still have stocks of wood cloth. Cloth. I need cloth. The raiders themselves. Again, more raiders. All right. And how about the gas station? Another raider hideout. All right. Wherever we're going, there's raiders. These ones just have delinquents, though. Great. So this is like a bunch of surly teenagers at the mall. I bet you we could take those guys out. I'm going to go farmhouse because I we really, really need that cloth. So, Alexander, you were pretty good at shooting as I require, as I recall, rather. Um, Laura, Tanya, I'll leave, I'll leave Red Rocket Broccoli and Mateo at home. Okay, now what happens? Use T to toggle the survivor between combat and automatic. Okay, good to know, actually. And it looks like you, just because you're sitting there crouching, you've walked in, in 
like drafted mode. Give direct movement orders, okay, right-clicking a location and dragging it. Dragging it to set their facing location, too. Oh, I should have tried that with the stairs. Survivors will automatically engage enemies within their cone. Okay, let's... We're all gonna die here. I want to be clear about that. We don't even know where anything is. How about you go down here? Just get a line of sight on anything at all, frankly. Anything? Okay, there's a building. Okay, again, can I draw a box? I'd like to be able to draw a box around these guys to uh, get them all at once and get them all moving in the same location, but it doesn't look like I can do that. So you guys, come down here, and then... Oh, I don't know, we're going to keep moving, basically. I have no clue how much cover is an issue, but I'm, I'm trying, as best as my little mind can do, to kind of... Oh, here we go. Put everyone in some... Yeah, some degree of cover. Okay. You look asleep. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Okay, things have happened. Uh, things have happened. You come down there, whoever I was on, Tanya, and then Alexander. Uh, you've got the really good gun, too, or at least it's, I think it's good. Come over here. This is terrible. Okay, uh, you're dead. Um, I mean, and by that, I mean, yeah, my own character is dead. Okay, uh, this is, this is going to be an immediate team wipe. Because I poorly planned every aspect of this. Um, oh, you got him. Oh, good job, you. Good job, you. Okay. Um, come over here. And you also come over here. All right. Um, well, we got one for one. One for one right now. Um, Alexander, poke, poke your nose in the door there. Okay, there is no door there. The irony of this is I'm just doing this to get cloth so I can build sandbags to beef up my own defenses. Um, that's a that's definitely a thing. If I temporarily undraft you, can you pick up whatever that is? It might not be a thing. Oh, hang on, there's somebody in there. There's a go go back to draft chief. You go here. Yep, go back go back here. Come on, get get your gun out, chief. You go here, and you go over here. All right. So far, well, I'd like to say so far so good, but one member of our team is already dead. All right. Swing over here. See what we've got in here. All right. Nothing that we can see, but that doesn't mean there's anything that, that there isn't something here. So you go there and you come in here. All right. And shoot, shoot. Everybody shoot. Everybody, everybody shoot the guy. Shoot, shoot the guy. Okay. Do whatever this is, I think. And then, Alexander, really no point in crouching right now, Alexander, so we'll probably just go with shooting. A Alexander? Oh, expedition successful. Okay. Well, apparently we killed that guy. Searching the farm, it appears the collapse interrupted construction project. Several bags of Instacrete. Okay, well, that's a building material. You balk at the idea of carrying several hundred kilograms worth of Instacrete. I would too, and I'm not even really sure what a kilogram is. And remember that carry weight isn't implemented yet. <laughs> oh, well done, Demo. Well done. Okay, that that's fun. Hey, guys, we're back. Well, two out of the three of us are back. Um, oh, no, sorry, I accidentally drafted you. No, 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 go back, go back to your business there. Um, how are things going over here? Also, does time pass here? Because we have not made any move on that staircase. Did time just sort of freeze while we were here? I don't know the answer to that question. Um, you guys gonna do anything? You're not drafted. You don't have your weapons out. Um, oh, maybe you are drafted. Be be undrafted. No, you can. I, I'm I'm so sorry. You can just go about your business. Now things have gotten more than a little fidgety with Alexander and Tanya here, and that they seem completely unwilling to be anything un other than drafted. They're just hardcore, ready to shoot some stuff. I mean, you're not drafted, because that's drafted, because now you pull your weapon out. I don't want you to not be drafted, but yet you still seem to be drafted, because you've got your little targeting icon, but yet I have nothing to shoot at icon. Hmm. Well, here's the deal, Tanya and Alexander. Um, I'm just going to leave you to it and check in on Red Rocket Broccoli. And Tanya and Alexander are still hanging out over here doing absolutely nothing. I'm... We don't have a roof of any sort on this, do we? There's there's no roof of any kind. If I page up... No, there's, there's no roof on this. 
They're just sleeping out in the open. There, Indeed, there's the sun coming up over their room. Is that what the wooden tiles are for? So if I do that, it looks like I could set this like this as some sort of roof. If I cancel that, cancel all of that, and I said instead I wanted that to be a floor, so I could maybe do... No, I can't do it as a floor. Interesting. Well, in that case, I think we should definitely have a roof. People like to have roofs. Hang on, can I extend it? Can I make a porch? Looks like I could. Now, just, just do a regular old roof. I'm still concerned with why Tanya and Alexander um, are just frozen. Um, this guy just popped up. This guy just popped up out of nowhere. I was zooming in on Tanya because I was looking for a good thumbnail clip. And then this guy just popped out of nowhere. He has a box on his head and a leather apron. That's never a good sign. Well, Alexander, you've been in draft duty this entire time. Can you attack him? Go attack him. Um, oh, I think Alexander's dead. Um, I think, I think actually we're all dead. Um, Mateo. All right. Um, I need you up and awake, chief. And doing literally anything at all. Uh, yeah, the guy's here. The guy is here. He's here. Um, he's killed, he's killed Mrs. Broccoli. Okay, uh, didn't really see this coming. Uh, and uh, he didn't see him coming either. Oh, no. Oh, it's all ending bad. Yeah, it's all... It's all ending bad. Never trust a guy with a box on his head and a leather apron. It certainly seems that the folks who put the demo together had a very clear and finite and rather terminal ending to the demo. Just get rushed by a bunch of guys with boxes on their head and get slaughtered. But I'll tell you right now, I've seen enough to play more. I've seen enough to know I'd like to play some more of this and see what else is possible in this. Again, I I genuinely don't know if this is a game I will adore or will flat out rage quit after 20 minutes, but I've got enough to whet my appetite and try it again. Guys, do please let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth. All right? None of this manby pamby kumbaya nonsense. All right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I I don't I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire, and uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there.